When you first log into your account, you'll be brought to the System Summary page under the Security tab. Use the tabs and related subpages to navigate through your account. Below the navigation, you'll see the Feature Usage bar. This indicates how many of the available features you are currently using. To explore other useful features, simply click on the Feature Usage link or the bar itself. Below the Feature Usage bar, you will see your current arming state. Click on the cog wheel to set up silent arming. This will arm the panel silently whenever you send a remote command. Be sure to click Save to save your changes. In the arming box, you can also send commands to arm or disarm your panel. To the right you will have the sensor status. Here you can see which sensors are activated, open, or closed. Finally, at the bottom of the page you will see a brief snapshot of your history. The user codes page is where you can manage access to the alarm system by adding, modifying, or deleting any user codes. Throughout the site you will see these two icons indicating that there is page specific information as well as a page specific video tutorial. The event history page under the history tab allows you to search, filter, and view 60 days of past history. You can also export all of the information to Excel by clicking the link at the bottom of the page. The notifications tab is where you can manage your address book in order to set up email, text message, and user code profiles. To set up notifications such as alarms or armings, simply click on one of the subpages below the notification tab. Under the profile tab, you will first be brought to the feature usage page. Here you will see what features are available to you and which ones you have already utilized. The manage logins page is where you can create additional website logins or mobile logins that can access your account. These can also be customized to fit your needs. The login info page is where you can select your language preference as well as update your password. The multi-system access page is where you can enable the current login to have access to all of the systems. As a reminder, you can get further information on any of the pages described through this tutorial by clicking on the help or video tutorial links.